Are you wanting to video capture your Nintendo gameplay? How about your PS5 gameplay? Or maybe you just need a capture card for your DLSLR camera or mirrorless camera and you want to do a talking head video or vlog, whatever it is, and you need a capture card. Well, if that's you and you need a capture card, then I'm feeling like the poster child for Fifine. So right now you're hearing me on the Fifine Tank 3 uh, dynamic microphone going through the SC1 uh, interface. I've done a review on the AM6. Uh, I've done a review on the AM8. I've done a review on the M9, which this one right here, I have a comparison with the DJI and the Boya. I have a comparison between this mic, the Tank 3, and the Rode Pod mic. So, again, I'm really feeling like the poster child for Fifine. But if you need a capture card, they have an all-new V3 1080p 60 frames capture with 4K 30 frames pass-through. All right, so right off the bat, I do got to say, Fifine did send this out, but they're not sponsoring this video. They don't get to tell me what I say, and I will never have a company tell me what I say. That's what I. That's why I wanted to start this YouTube channel, was so many people give these these really good reviews of products, and the, the product really actually stinks because they were just given a review because they got the product for free and they don't want to lose their sponsorship or they don't want to lose from getting free products from that company. I think that's hogwash. Oh, well. But this is my honest review for your hard-earned money. Nobody has a say of what I say in this video whatsoever. This right here, the colors just popped. This right here blew my mind on an actual capture card. You can buy, you can find it real quick, you can buy little bitty cheap capture cards like this right here that do the same thing. Yeah, 15 bucks. We'll get into the price in a minute on this one. The, the picture quality is phenomenal with this V3. I, I For 1080p, the colors were popping. It was not washed out to me. I mean, y'all tell me. Leave, leave comments down below. Tell me what you thought the intro, you know, me showing from the Nintendo, from the PlayStation 5 to just my camera that you're seeing me on right now. You get a Manuel in the box. You get the other thing that I gripe about all the time. You only get a two-foot cable. Come on. Five hundred. I, I I'll tell you. I'll tell every company. Things like this right here around our desk. This is this is too short. We need four foot, four to six foot. It's only gonna cost fifty cents more. I'll pay, I would pay fifty cents more for a, to, to to have a four to six foot cable. I mean, y'all leave a comment down below. Let me know if you would. But yeah, the cables are just too small that these companies give. Uh, so you get the cable, and then of course you get the actual capture card, and it does have good old nice RGB on it as well. So I'll go through the what everything else that connects to it and just say. So as far as every that's that's all you get in the box. It's very simple. It is very plug and play, and it is a very easy to use. But but my drawback was I did have a little bit of problems. I always try to max everything out, but seeing some going down to 1080p, you have to turn your HCDP off or yeah HCDP off in your PlayStation. So. I don't know if Xbox is like that. I don't have an Xbox, so uh, I'll go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm gonna hook it up to the to the PlayStation and show you what I mean. All right. So when you get into the PlayStation, I'll come in here and I'll show uh, video output. Is outputting 4K 60, even though the pass through is only 4K 30 uh, through it. That's all you're gonna get. And then of course, if I'm recording in 1080p 60 frames right now, is what it's actually being recorded. Not that it's a huge thing with the Fifine V3. But there is a couple of little settings. You got to go to system, HDMI, and you need to make sure that the HDCP is unchecked. Uh, unlike Elgato or, or other uh, capture cards I've used, I've never had to actually do this. So I didn't have to take that off. If you like HDR content, you do not have HDR uh, using this capture card. That can be a drawback. You know, if I go to HDR and I go only on supported, it doesn't support it. Uh, deep color, again, this has to do with HDR, put on automatically, it does not support it. So, again, it's not a bad capture card whatsoever. It, it serves its purpose, and, I mean, it's clean. I mean, I think it's a very, very clean for... I'm not a big 1080 fanatic. Once I went to 4K... I mean, even when I got into PCs and started running 2K, because I was already so used to 4K, it was hard to even do 2K. But this 1080 is really, really clean, I I think. What do y'all think? Y'all leave comments down below. Let me know what y'all think.
All right, so that's what I meant by that. Uh, on the Nintendo, I didn't have not one problem. Uh, it was just literally plug and play. Uh, actually, the only problem I did have was my audio. So, which I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you real quick on that. In the Fifine, in OBS, this is what it's going to look like for you. So, you want to set your, to the Fifine video capture, of course. You want to make sure that you are underneath custom and not default. So you want to do custom 1920, and then of course you, you can only choose these right here. You can even do 720. So if you want to grab this for your Twitch or whatever else, because that's all they do is the 720. Perfecto, perfecto. Um, you know you're going to get a clean, a clean image out of it. Uh, and then you set your your frame rate, your FPS to the highest. So that's it here. Now in OBS, you are going to have to make another source, and you're going to have to. Uh, you know, you name it, whatever. This one here, I just have an audio input because you need an input. You have to make sure that you make an input and then you got to make sure that you're selecting your input for, so digital audio interface, Fifine audio capture because now it has to capture your voice. But this is it right here up close. So it's the Ample Gain uh, V3 capture card. On this side here, you have your HDMI in, your line in, and your headset. On this side here, you have your HDMI out, your RGB, and your PC control. I do like that it does have the headphone jack. I mean, you got your line uh, in as well to bring in audio from a cell phone or wherever else. So say you want to listen to Spotify or whatever. And this like for me, for instance, here's a 3.5 3 jack. It just goes line in, and it brings whatever audio source into this as well. And then, of course, you can separate all that in OBS or whatever software you're using to get the multiple tracks. And you can play your Spotify as long as you're not getting copyright, blah, blah, blah. It only comes in black uh, as of right now, as of October 10th, 2024. It only comes in black. Uh, I, I'm going to imagine with some of their other stuff, they're going to probably wind up coming out with other colors. Probably white, pink will probably be their first two. Um there's really nothing really bad to say about it. I mean, again, I'm just I'm not trying to upsell it for you. I'll, I'll leave affiliate links down below uh, where you can pick it up at. But if you're needing a good capture card, I mean, from a good reputable company, Fifine is there. They're there 100. percent I just they're they're one of them underrated companies. Kind of like my YouTube channel is a little underrated. They're a little underrated for you know what they offer in. Um, as far as their products and saying that whatever they had to offer in the future, this is going to be for a future video, but Fifine also has their own version of a steam deck. It's called the D six. So I'm going to actually play around with this for a little while. I'm going to see uh, how, how bad the learning curve is on this compared to Elgato. Uh, I'm going to go through it. Uh, it just came in today, just a little bit ago. So I'll go through and I'll make a video. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button for whenever I bring you stuff. Because this is about your hard-earned money. This is about fixing your computers and stuff so you don't have to take it to nobody else. I will show I show different things on uh, you know, Windows, different things on PC. I man, I'm all around about technology and tech. So again, like and subscribe. I'm Thomas of Tomology. I'll catch you in the next one.